Nitelangu guys. Big topic. How old, how old is Hinduism? I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashiva. So I've been watching few videos about Hinduism who introduced people to both Hinduism and I felt like, oh my God, the content is so not right. And uh, I thought, you know, I should make these videos here and there where I should share uh, what Swamji is sharing with us and the cognitions I have about it. And the first thing I wanted to talk about was this, how old is Hinduism? So, they say Hinduism must be something like, we don't know exactly, but something like five, six thousand years old. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to debunk. It is not five, six thousand years old. And here's why. First thing is, they have found residues of the city of Dwarka, which is the city which was built by Lord Krishna in his avatar uh, when he came down as an avatar. And these, uh, these sediments are found to be something like 5,000 5, years old. So Krishna happened 5,000 years old. So that already debunks the whole thing because Hinduism was living before Krishna. Before Krishna, there was... And Krishna is the ninth, ninth incarnation of Lord Mahavishnu. There were eight more incarnations before him. So five, six thousand years old, that's, that's not even a question. That's just silly. Now, Rama was, happened, incarnation of Vishnu as Rama happened three thousand years before Krishna. So that's eight thousand years. And there were seven incarnations of Vishnu before Rama, Lord Rama. So now, um, that's the first thing I want to debunk. So 5,000, 6,000, not happening. Hinduism is much older than that. Second thing is, I was thinking, why do people, why are we unable today to conceive something older than that? People will say like, it was very old, the oldest 5,000 years old. I mean, 5,000 years old is not that old. That's not that old, 5,000 years old. But somehow, in our mind, we feel, yes, that's huge, 5,000 years old. So I was contemplating on why do we feel like that? And the click I got was, the problem is, in the West, or in non-Hindus' uh, thought currents, we believe this life is the only life, this body is the only body. And that is a big problem, because that shortens your understanding and your vision. When you think your life is only this body, there is no way your mind can conceive something beyond 10,000 years old and feel that it's okay. It's way too much because the very scope from which you operate is one body. Wow, this life is huge, 100 years, maybe not, maybe 50, whatever. So that is like a big obstacle, big blind spot. First, we have to understand that there are many lives. And you can take as many bodies as you want to experience whatever you wish to experience. Consciousness takes all the bodies it wants to experience its, to enjoy and experience its consciousness. Consciousness experience its consciousness and enjoy its consciousness. It seems contradictory, but that's what Swamji is sharing and that's what the reality is. Paramashiva makes himself as many to enjoy himself and to be eternally blissful celebrate and be blissful and that is hinduism hinduism is all about celebrate and be blissful be powerful unclutch be blissful now when you start to understand you have many bodies and you can take as many bodies as you want then you're like whoa i have time so then your scope becomes huge five thousand years is nothing five thousand years it's nothing it's really nothing um in the scriptures, they say the Vedas, oh my God, the worst thing they talk about in these videos, they say the Vedas and Agamas were written like 6,000, they say these scriptures were written at that time. And that is the source of Hinduism. It is complete nonsense. These scriptures are so old, you cannot even understand the number, how old it is. You will just collapse in front of the number because your mind can just not grasp it. You'll just be like, ah, what do you mean? What do you mean? It's like a computer bugging you. Like, it's, <laughs> that's what it is. See, in Hinduism, we are taught Brahma has, a, has lives. 
a life of brahma brahma yuga uh is something like 4 some 4 billion years something and hinduism in the scriptures it is mentioned that there are there were many brahmas you understand what that means one brahma is 4 point something billion years many brahmas mean many brahmas means what it means huge so just to be able to conceive that and to see and to understand the reality behind that that gives you an idea of how old hinduism is hinduism is old very old hinduism is the source of everything which is available that we know of humanity today and more than that but whatever we'll stick to what we know today so it is very important to understand the space from which we look at things if you're looking at the sun through a through goggles you will not see the sun in the same way that you look through a telescope you need to have the right tools if you think this life this body is the only thing you have you only have one life you have to live it to the fullest you will never understand life because your scope is too small so there's no way you will be able to even grasp something higher than that because you think one body that's it so 100 years is your life so 5000 years you're like oh my god 5000 years is huge 5000 years is nothing it is nothing so that is why reincarnation, understanding that you can take as many bodies as you want to experience whatever you decide to experience. Consciousness can take anybody at any point in time for how long it wants because consciousness is all-pervading, all-powerful, everlasting, eternal. There's no limits. Princi principle of eternity is very important here because you cannot understand reincarnation if you don't understand eternity. Consciousness is eternal. I should not even say that. Eternity is within consciousness because consciousness is beyond everything. Everything you can conceive, consciousness is beyond that. So, eternity itself is within consciousness. So, reincarnation, you can take as many bodies as you want forever until you consciously decide not to take a body anymore and that is enlightenment. Or you take a body consciously for a purpose like Swamiji, an avatar. He takes a body because he comes for a specific purpose, not because of any desires of his own. But to restore Hinduism, to bring back the Dharma, to bring back the powerful cognitions, to reinstore the authenticity of Hinduism and Avatar lands. So that's what I want to share in this video. So guys, Hinduism is old. 5,000, 6,000, not even in your dreams. That is nothing. That's like dust, Kalabharava's feet. So Hinduism is very old. So that's the first thing I want to share. How long, how old is Hinduism? So old that you cannot cognize it. That's what I would say. So with this, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, appreciating your views, comment, share. I have content in the description below. Actually, in the description below, I have added content, uh, a channel Hinduism now, which uh, shares small videos about the persecution that Hindus are going through and uh, Hindus should start to uh, realize that they're being persecuted in various ways and be active and share like doing videos for instance having a YouTube channel and inviting people to share so with this I'll see you guys in the next video Nitya